What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 50. Um, so last time what happened was, um, okay, where we left off was with, should I start off with what happened before that? Yeah, I'll do what we happened before that. They finished the fight with, um, Pride and Gluttony. Gluttony is out of, is dead because Pride consumed him. Um, but then they trapped Alphonse and Pride into that, that, that dirt ball, pretty much, a, well, made of earth, really. Um, so Alphonse is gonna stay in there, he took one for the team, he's gonna keep Pride in, well, yeah. He, he's not really keeping him in there, but you guys get what I'm saying. He was the bait to get him in there. Um, yeah. Uh, so now they are gonna go Ed and company, the whole group. I think they, they're gonna go, like, prepare for the promised day. I think they're gonna go to Central, but, um, I think they sent, I can't remember the old man's name, Lanfon's grandpa or something. They sent him to go do, like, recon somewhere. Was it Central? Um, anyway. But where it left off was Roy and Hawkeye had Bradley's wife, and they are at, like, a standoff with... Um, I don't know if I should say Bradley's men, but, like, men from the military. And where it leaves off is you are, it's like a, I think it was like a black screen, and you just hear gunshots. So, what I think happened is, Bradley is, he showed up. Because they didn't find his body. And even, like, he wouldn't have died from that fall anyway, and he's so fast, so he could have easily gotten away quickly so they wouldn't find him. Um, but yeah. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure Bradley showed up. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I'm pretty sure that's basically all that happened. Maybe I forgot, like, a small thing. We haven't seen May in a bit. And I know she's heading to Central, so maybe we'll pick back up with her this episode. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Man. I wanted to have my full metal Funko Pop right here. But, like, he's so small, you can't really see him. I could... Uh, maybe when I'm done recording, I'll, like, take the display cap off. And I'll, like, I'll put him right here let you guys look at him. It came with, like, little cats. And, like... Two that are, like, built into it, like, they're part of the structure, and then one little one that's kind of, like, I don't know, just, like, its own little thing. It's so small. It's, like, maybe, like, this big. So, yeah, like, yeah, the size of, like, my thumb print. So cute. It's so fucking cute, dude. Oh, I took it out of the box. I'm not, I, I'm sorry, I'm not one of those people that's gonna keep it in the box. Like, I want it, because you can't really see it in the box. I want it out, like, on display. But, yeah, anyway, okay. Um, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Oh. Oh. You all got shot. Who? Who? Did, who? <laughs> yes, those it's Rollins came in clutch. Or, well, people from, um... Fuck, fuck. She's, yeah, just, she's, uh, expendable. <laughs> Better not let hear Bradley tell you, uh, hear you say that. But, uh, people from Briggs, that's what I was trying to say. Girl, she doesn't know anything yet? No, he would never, ever do that, no. I don't know. He, he got fucking... He's probably hurt. I mean, I don't know if he can heal as well as the other homunculi. He's old, he ages. We're sparing your lives, soldier. Be glad that we're not from Briggs. This would be a kill shot. Oh. Girl, it's been a while. Damn. Yeah, good work. I was expecting work. Mm, He's his up a bitch bandage. ass. Fucking snake. And while we're already on that topic, has Mrs. Bradley been informed yet? Obviously not, no. based on what It'll she said. Slow us down too much if she passes. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Oh. Who? They sent it. Oh shit. Out. Fuck yes, Roy. Oh yes. I don't know, are there any Ishvalans? I thought there were Ishvalans at first, now I don't, I don't know, maybe I was wrong. We have 59 men injured, zero casualties. Oh. Haven't killed any of them. I'm surprised they didn't kill them. Maybe they... Half these men probably don't even know what's really going on, so maybe that's why they don't, they, uh, don't want to kill them. They're being, uh, tricked. Manipulated. Good point. All of his explosions have been pretty tame. Because he doesn't want to kill you, boy. He could wreck your fucking soul if he wanted to. 
God damn. Not just your wife, you're fucking so <laughs> You know what? They're not trying to spill blood. That's another reason, probably, like, maybe why they don't want to do that. Because the more people they kill, the more you could use... Or soldiers like sacrifices, you know, soak the land in blood. I mean, but even if they don't kill them, he, you could just release those little, like, android things that he has stacked in the basement, so. If there's one thing softer than Mustang, it's the men under your command. You might as well send in children. Excuse me? Oh, man. Olivier! Your men are lacking in proper experience. Making their defense a joke. Simply laughable. Ha ha ha! Facts. How about this? <laughs> why don't you let me step in and take command of a battalion? She would just why you're do. Here, Armstrong? Your leadership skills she could turn the tides if that's what she wanted to do, but uh, we know she doesn't. You are being Your plan is useless. The only uh, way yeah. the men of Briggs they wouldn't let this stop them. The they know to abandon me if confronted with a crisis. Even, Even though they wouldn't want to. murder me in cold blood, my troops would simply write me off for being too weak. <laughs> they don't need me. Wow, those dude. men can act as their own force. I love that. That's She's so right. True. Brits That's are. so fucking true. Don't even begin to assume that you know the soldiers. Are it's so true. true. They don't run around with like chickens with, uh, yeah, like chickens without their head. They. Okay, she's gone. So what? We know exactly what we need to do. We know how we're gonna do it. They're efficient as fuck. I love the way she trained her men. You don't need me. What the fuck? Look behind you, bro. You didn't see those fucking eyes? And here they come. Yo! Every single one of my men is capable of defeating the grizzly bear in combat. I wonder if is that Kim Lee? Who the fuck was that? Men. What do you think? Yo! Woo! Tell him! Tell him! Let's go, dude. She is just... Oh! 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 Just, every time she's on screen, every word out of her mouth, she just... She gets me hyped! Does she make you guys hype every time you see her, dude? She just like, woohoo! She just makes me feel empowered, dude. Oh, they might be out of ammunition. Oh, that's true, actually. Round up all of the men that we have left. Yeah, that out. Oh, Edward, we need you. Who's in the? Oh, this is where. Who's supposed to be driving it though? Hey! Ooh, who do you have in I've here? All sorts of goodies. Oh, I thought she would have like a person too. Here we go, the cavalry has arrived or something like that, and uh, the chimeras. And his dad. Hey, 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 is that their teacher? It's good to see you, Colonel. It's been a long time, huh? No, no, no. No. It's that fucking Maria Ross. Second Lieutenant Maria Ross. Let's go. Bitch. <laughs> yes! Second Lieutenant Maria Ross! How did I remember her name, dude? It just came to me like this. It was perfect. Mm. So proud of myself. Everyone, give me a round of applause. You know my memory. Shit. Where did you procure all these weapons? And who did you go through to get them? You oh, I don't know. Well, the old man could have. Didn't he go with her? This is Colonel Roy Mustang speaking. I'm honored to have your support. <laughs> Man, whose ass do you think you're kissing? What? I'd prefer it if we kept things casual. How? Havoc? Over 80 years in business, we offer everything you could possibly need. From underwear to arms, and we're this just a family shop. Away. This is Havoc's, your neighborhood general store. What? What the fuck? Havoc, so, who do I the official the MVP the of the episode. Let's go. Let's go. Maria Ross and Havoc. They're both the MVPs. This father guy must have oh, told dude. you his plan. She could totally All just wreck both of them right now. And what he gets from it. Sure, of mm. course he told me. The select few of us that he's chosen. You really, really believe that, dude? You know you come on, bro. Deep down you have to know you're gonna be All sacrificed the along with the rest of them. Are an unavoidable part of it. You're okay you with it just that? because you're gonna be <laughs> Given immortality, you're such an asshole. That's so goddamn selfish. Yes, dude. Yes, yes. I knew it. I knew it. The country could very well regard me as a hero once this is all over. However, I'm still not as merciful as our celebrated hero of Ishvan. No way. 
Holy shit, dude. She is so fucking awesome. Is that shitty of me to say? They are terrible people anyway. Oh my god, she is just a boss. I, no, I swear, I can't even do it. There's nothing I don't like about her. They're attempting to flee with the Fuhrer's wife as their hostage. What? That devious coward. Um, First he murdered Lieutenant Ross, and you, now he's kidnapped the uh, Fuhrer's wife? The man has got to be pure evil! You don't know? Why well, don't? I know Alex does, but... Hey! Yeah, Excuse so he me, was sir. sent here as... Uh, to Central to get intel. What are you doing, Pride? Like, I can... Doesn't that sound like... Doesn't that sound like Pride's banging on his helmet? It's like it's making its way all the way here. He's like sending... What does he do? Like fucking Morse code to father? Yep. He is doing some shit like that. You're... Morse code! You smart motherfucker! Wow. That was genius. Honestly. Getting in there. Credit where credit is due. My name's Edward Ellerick. I'm a state alchemist. Wait, what was that? You said you're a state alchemist? I need you to help me. Scar is trying to kill me! <laughs> got on the list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Oh my god, Ed. I love you. His dad's like... Thing to do. Ah, shut up. It's your son in action, man. I'll take a team this way, and then you and Scar can lead a team the other way. What? Why do I have to go with him? It's best to divide the groups based on their skill in alchemy. Now remember, you told me that he was somehow able to turn off your alchemy. Yes. Scar was still capable of using yeah, his, but that... you were rendered helpless. Yep, yep, yep. All right, I guess that means these two are together. I'm so sorry, that was probably a, a blow to your ego, Ed, but... Unique, so I'll be fine on my own. You're, he's right. So, you're getting desperate to search for the Shinyi's prince, aren't you? Yep, you definitely want to talk to her alone. Go find him. <laughs> Dude. You don't need to worry oh, about oh, but they're dead. I love him. You care He's deeply sweet. about him, don't you? <laughs> that smile, that knowing smile. <laughs> I know. I understand. Go ahead. I got this. We still haven't finished the soul bonding tests. Shut up. What? What else are we gonna use? Oh, them? oh yeah, like bond souls to the body. Yeah. Wait, you're really doing this? this? Is the exact kind of situation we worked so hard to make. Oh before. fuck. Oh, I'm not ready for, dude. I was not ready for this yet. This is only episode 50. I was expecting these things to come out like maybe episode 50, 8, 57. Ooh. Ew. Oh. I didn't think. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! I didn't think that they were gonna have fucking eyeballs coming out of their foreheads. Ah, uh, oof! What do I even say? Okay. Um, I'm worried now because these things are gonna be. They're gonna listen. They're gonna do whatever he says, right? So you don't have to worry about them going off and doing their own thing. So that's already an advantage. But they're going to be emotionless so i feel like that's just gonna make them that much more efficient they're just gonna be like almost unstoppable i feel like they're gonna be really um um they're gonna be almost probably invincible i mean i don't know powered by a, a philosopher's stone the bodies, I mean, are they carbon-based, though? Maybe they, maybe they won't be then. They'll probably be pretty sturdy, but I don't know. Maybe they won't be unstoppable. Maybe that's taking it too far. I don't know, though. He said they went through a lot of work to make these, so maybe they'll be stronger than I thought they... I don't know. Maybe there's someone in the middle. We'll see. But the, maybe their power doesn't lie in, like, the individual, but just in the numbers, because they are... They have so many of them, dude. Looks like a, around a thousand, or maybe just a couple hundred, but I, I mean, how long have you been making these? There has to be more than a couple hundred. This is what it's going to come down to now. It might not come down to, like, the individual's capabilities. It's going to come down to being 
outmanned. I mean, these things, I don't know if they're going to have weapons available for them, or if they're just going to be able to use alchemy. That's another thing. If every single one of these things can use alchemy, you're fucked. Because a lot of these people don't, they're not alchemists, so... I mean, cool, you're good with the gun, but if they have weapons on top of being able to use alchemy, oh, God, just forget it. Just, just forget it, dude. I, I don't think you guys stand a chance. But, maybe not. Maybe that, maybe they won't be that OP. Um, we know they're gonna win at the end of the day. This is a shonen, right? So, I just feel like this isn't one of those animes where it ends, like, super tragically and depressingly. <laughs> I just don't think that's gonna happen. Um, but anyway. Um, Father knows now uh, of, of Pride's situation because of him using Morse code. Which was really smart, by the way. I have to give him credit. That was... Oh, wow. I'm like, there's no w way him banging on the helmet is nothing. I knew he was up to something. I just didn't know what it was supposed to be. But it was annoying as hell, that sound. Ugh. Um, but smart. The fact that he could hear that, though. That it was, like, traveling, like, that far away. That was... I don't know, like, kind of crazy. Um, I don't know, like... How... how I don't know, maybe it's just because pow uh, power. Father has all of those, like, power lines. Somehow it's going through all the land, so it's, like, traveling down the pipe or whatever. I don't know. Maybe. Um, what else? They still didn't tell Miss Bradley about what's going on. I wish they would have told her, but I guess they're right. Now's not the time. You don't want to be dragging around, like, an unconscious body. That's just more work for you. Um... What she? What would she even do though when she found out, or when she finds out? I think, she, cause I can guarantee she will. And then where the fuck is Bradley? Like, what? Where are you at, bro? What are you doing? You're nowhere to be found. Shouldn't you be helping them? There's no way he's severely injured. I just don't think that's the case. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just—he's up to something else. He must be doing something else. But what? Like, why would you wait this long to save your wife? If he would have heard them say that she's expendable, dead. They'd all be dead. He'd just be like, come in with his sword. Ching, ching, ching. You just see all their heads like fall off at the same time. Oh, what is he doing? Is he pissed now? Like hearing that from father? Is he, is he like maybe trying to figure out his own way to, I don't know, stop father, kill him something? Because I guarantee if he had a, I don't know. If he had to choose between father and his wife, he's choosing his wife all day. I think. I could be wrong, but I think. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like 70-30 on that because he doesn't want to die. He's angry that he ages, I think. So, I don't know. What's more important to him, self-preservation or saving his wife's life? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Um, what else? Let me click through to make sure I have fucking Havoc and Maria goddamn Ross. She, I did not expect to see her ever again. Never. She, I completely forgot about her. And here she comes. Ugh, all these freaking weapons, dude. Because they were, like, so screwed. They had no ammunition. Um, well, they had weapons, but they probably needed more. Um, because probably some of them are, like, you know, like a grenade. That's one and done. You can't. So, but now they have, what she say they're called? Um... They're like uh, tear gas bombs with with extra pepper spray or something. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and then the fact that they, I, I was like, oh, she probably got it from someone in Jing because they're from they're Jingi's uh, artillery, I think they said. So, but he goes, nope, havoc shot. We, we got everything from underwear to whatever he said, everything under the sun, pretty much. That was great. That was ugh, wow. I, I'm really hoping they figure out a way to fix his um. Um, his paralysis. I'm thinking they will. I mean, they're gonna have to. Fu they're. I'm. There are so many philosopher stones just lying around, powering up the bodies. Um, I'm sure Father has like stacks of them somewhere in his lair. So, um, or his. Uh, I don't know. Could his dad? Could his dad fix it? Human tra Human transmutation. Transmutation though. But he probably could. Well, I don't know. He couldn't fit. No, 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 he probably could. 
he probably could. I think the reason he couldn't fix their uh, teacher is because half their organs were just missing, and they, you can't bring it back because they were in the realm. Truth took them, but for him, for Havoc, he just got an injury, so he might be able to... Um, their nerves are probably severed, so I'm assuming, like, he can just, um, almost, like, stitch them back together, re reattach them in some way. Um, but yeah, so, that, I think their dad would probably handle that. Um, anything else? So, they're underground right now, so maybe they'll run up on those, those, like, android bodies, I don't know, those soldiers while they're being created and i don't know what their dad man though i hope ed or i hope their dad runs into them and not ed because i don't well uh, maybe not because ed can't really do anything against the father so mm, okay i'll switch that i hope ed runs ed and company run into those soldiers and then father runs into um their dad vaughn or vaughn runs into the father sorry she bodying these guys I didn't expect, I mean, I figured she could do it, but I didn't think she was going to do it because I'm like, maybe they have like some homunculi behind the wall or whatever out right outside. And if she tries anything, they'll just kill her. I don't know, but I guess not. Oh, she's so cool, dude. She's so cool. Mm. I think that's it. Really, I don't know what else to say. Her men, dude, okay, last thing. I know I talked about it already in the episode, but, well, man, they, okay, two things. Man, they really all think that Roy's a monster. That A lot of these guys in the military are still, and women, men and women, are still in the dark. They really don't know anything. I mean, how do you, how do you get this out to them without getting murked, <laughs> you know? I don't know. And even if you did tell them what, it doesn't change anything, they're still in power, so... Maybe it doesn't even matter at this point. Um, but what was I going to say? La yeah, last thing. Olivier's men, I have to say, I'm so impressed by the fact that she trained them. It uh, kind of reminds me of um, Hunter Hunter and, like, the troop and how that's kind of their philosophy. You know? You can abandon me, the head. Just make sure the body survives. You don't need me. Just go. Like... Granted, not every them, uh, not all of them wanted to follow that, but, um, but yeah, I just think that it's, but she did it, this was, um, um, I don't know, her men actually followed that principle, though, like, okay, we're not gonna come in and, like, try to save you, like, no, we're gonna do, we're, we have, we set a goal for ourselves, our mission comes first, which the mission is to protect the people, save the fucking world, yeah, that comes before saving her life, I just, I love how committed they are to their mission and like how they really I like I said earlier they're not like chickens without their heads running around just aimless oh my god what do we do we can't oh my god we have to get her back we're lost no they oh I can't I'm so impressed by them because usually you'd see where they they kind of feel like they question themselves what should we do now they don't know what to do without that leadership Ah, uh, every time, dude. Every time. And not just her, man. It's not just her that impresses me. Like, I said, her men, men, men and women, but I'm just saying, like, men, because that's what she calls them, my men. Um, wow. Actually, I don't know if I've seen a woman in Briggs other than her. Well, anyway. Um, what was that about? Wait, did you see that one scene when, um... They were, like, standing together, these guys, um, I don't know where it was, and they were, like, oh, where was it, dude? They were, like, this, the Briggs men, like, who is this in the background? Who could it be? The only person I can think of that it might be would be, because I can't be pride, it can't be gluttony, it can't be envy, lust is dead sloth it could maybe it would be but i thought sloth went back who else is left other than um like it could be a chimera could be kimberly unless this was just supposed to be like let me see what happens after this like going back to pride or something yeah i don't know 
that was. Who the fuck is it? What sin am I forgetting? Wait. Seven deadly sins. Sloth. Gluttony. Pride. Um, greed. Oh, greed. It could be greed. But why would greed be? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know why he would be there. I don't even know where he is. He's like MIA. What the fuck are you at, dude? What are you doing? Maybe he's trying to find Bradley. Maybe he's trying to find Father. I don't know. We'll see, though. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell right there to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description somewhere below. Uh, other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.